or no war. The boundary between Delta and Edo State. I was locked down at a particular spot for about six hours. Odessa or your producing community. Where you have oil and gas company. And so I just gave a simple one. That is even simpler because it's closer to the onshore than the offshore. Talk less of those whose lives are dependent on what you call the resources that comes from them. Some cannot fish anymore. Some are not as educated as you and I that can migrate out of that particular cocoon. It's already there, even if you run away. The essence is at what the, at what point did we miss it? The oil and gas communities, you will find out they trade their planes. Another point that is very important, fostering cooperation and collaboration is another perspective to humanistic science. Instead of certain approaches. But you and I who are not even from the region, of course, when you see the display of how the community-based periscoping, what they want to do is what they want, not what the people want. It's a source of conflict. Community periscoping. What do we want? What you call community-based participation. You are not told. I will tell you that, of course, they told us they have N NDDC and some other interventions to create humanity. It's money, what you call corruption, in the pockets of the politician, of the contractor, of the oil companies, what you call middlemen, the gatekeepers. That matters most than what they need. And they put store the water, treated water for drinking. That's as if there are any success stories or best practices in trying to create peace at all in the Ninja Delta. I mean, among the oil and gas producing communities. Are these success stories? And that's the point I want to mention. That in the year 2000, the federal government of this great country told us, and they did what they call, you know, established by an act of 2000, the Niger Delta Development Commission. And what was this meant to do? I don't like taking you off strong. The essence was to create humanities in these communities, in the oil producing areas, to create humanities, to make us be humans, to make us you know, benefit from what services, like I said, the demographics of over 200 million people, that doesn't even translate for over 60 years of exploration in these areas. They set it up as an interventionist policy. The story between you and I are better told by you and I. And they really met the templates that they were given or the terms of reference. Today, can you say that there are better infrastructural development? Can you say that there are better youth empowerment programs? Can you say that there are environmental